Lesson 1. Where do you live? Where do you live? I live in London. That's interesting. What part of London? I live in the city center. How is it living in the city center? It's convenient because everything is within walking distance. Do you have any favorite places in your neighborhood? Yes, I love the local park. It's a great place to relax. Is the cost of living high in the city center? Yes, it's quite expensive, but I find it worth it for the convenience. That makes sense. I live in the suburbs, so it's more affordable. I can imagine. Do you enjoy living in the suburbs? Yes, it's quieter and more family friendly. That sounds nice. Living in the city center can get noisy sometimes. I understand. Do you have any plans to move to a different area? Not at the moment. I'm quite happy where I am. That's great. It's important to feel content with your living situation. Absolutely. It's all about finding a place that suits your needs and preferences. I completely agree. Thank you for sharing about where you live. You're welcome. It was nice discussing this topic with you. Lesson 2 Would you like to meet up this weekend? Would you like to meet up this weekend? Sure, when and where? How about meeting at the coffee shop downtown? Sounds good. What time should we meet? Let's meet at 10 a.m. this Saturday. All right, 10 a.m. it is. I'll see you there. Great. I'll make a reservation just in case it's busy. That's a good idea. It's always better to be prepared. Absolutely. I'll make sure we have a table reserved. Thank you for taking care of that. No problem. I'm looking forward to catching up with you. Me too. It's been a while since we last met. I agree. It will be nice to chat in person. Definitely. See you at 10 a.m. on Saturday then. See you there. Have a great day until then. Lesson 3. There's a new art supply store in town. I heard there's a new art supply store in town. Really? That sounds interesting. Yes, I think we should check it out sometime. Of course, we may find some unique and inspiring supplies there. That's what I'm hoping for. It's always exciting to discover new materials. Absolutely. It can spark our creativity. I agree. I find that using different supplies can bring new ideas. It's true. Variety can help us explore different artistic styles. Exactly. Let's make plans to visit the store together. That sounds like a plan. When would be a good time for you? How about this Saturday afternoon? Saturday afternoon works for me. Let's meet at the store. Sounds good. I'll see you there. Looking forward to it. See you on Saturday. Lesson 4. Things getting stolen in hotels. Have you ever had anything stolen in a hotel? Yes, unfortunately. It happened to me once. That's terrible. What got stolen? My camera and some cash were taken from my room. I'm sorry to hear that. How did it happen? I left my room briefly, and when I came back, my things were gone. 
That's really unfortunate. Did you report it to the hotel? Yes, I did. They were helpful, but they couldn't recover my belongings. It's a good reminder to be cautious when traveling. Absolutely. I learned my lesson and now take extra precautions. Me too. That's why I always make sure to use the hotel safe. That's a smart thing to do. It's better to be safe than sorry. Definitely. It's unfortunate that such incidents can happen. Yes, but it's important to be vigilant and take necessary measures. I completely agree. Thanks for sharing your experience. You're welcome. I hope it serves as a reminder for others too. Lesson 5, I was thinking about exploring Bali. I've been thinking about exploring Bali. Have you been there? Yes, I've been to Bali before, and it's a beautiful place. That's great to hear. What did you like the most about it? Bali has stunning landscapes and Lesson 5, exploring Bali's stunning landscapes and rich culture. I've been thinking about exploring Bali. Have you been there? Yes, I've been to Bali before, and it's a beautiful place. That's great to hear. What did you like the most about it? Bali has stunning landscapes and a rich culture that fascinated me. What kind of landscapes can I expect to see in Bali? You'll find beautiful beaches, lush rice terraces, and volcanic mountains. That sounds incredible. Did you have a favorite spot? I really loved visiting the rice terraces in Ubud. They were breathtaking. I've seen pictures, and they look amazing. Any recommendations for cultural experiences? You must explore the temples in Bali. They're stunning and have a spiritual atmosphere. That sounds intriguing. Are there any specific temples you'd recommend? Tanalot and Uluwata temples are must-visit places for their breathtaking locations. I'll make sure to add them to my itinerary. Any other suggestions? Don't miss out on experiencing traditional Balinese dance performances. That sounds like a fascinating cultural experience. I'll definitely check it out. Great! Bali has so much to offer, and I'm sure you'll have an amazing time. Thank you for sharing your insights. I'm getting more excited about my trip now. You're welcome. I hope you have a fantastic time exploring Bali's beauty and culture. Lesson 6, Expanding Market Reach We should consider expanding our market reach to attract more customers. That's a great idea. How do you propose we do that? We can start by creating an online presence and leveraging social media platforms. Excellent suggestion. We can utilize digital marketing strategies to reach a wider audience. We should also invest in new technology to improve our operations and customer experience. Absolutely. Upgrading our systems and adopting innovative solutions will give us a competitive edge. By integrating technology, we can streamline processes and enhance efficiency. That would definitely benefit our business and make us more productive. We'll need to research and identify the right technology solutions for our specific needs. Agreed. We should explore different options and choose the ones that align with our goals. Once we implement these changes, we can expect to see positive results in our market reach and operations. I'm excited about the potential growth and improvements these changes will bring. It's an exciting journey ahead. Let's get started on expanding our market reach and gaining new technology. Lesson 7, Booking a Trip and Feeling Excited 
I found the perfect trip for us. Let's book it. That sounds fantastic. I'm really excited about this trip. It's going to be an amazing experience. I can't wait to explore new places. Me neither. I'm looking forward to creating unforgettable memories. We should plan our itinerary and make sure we don't miss any must see attractions. Absolutely. We can research the top sites and plan our days accordingly. It's also a good idea to check the weather and pack accordingly. Yes, we should pack appropriate clothing and essentials for the trip. I'll take care of booking the accommodations and transportation. Great. I can help with researching local customs and cultural etiquette. That would be helpful. It's important to be respectful of the local culture. I agree. It enhances the travel experience and fosters positive interactions. This trip is going to be a wonderful adventure. I can't wait to embark on it. I'm counting down the days. It's going to be an unforgettable journey. Lesson 8 Barcelona and Bucket List. Have you been to Barcelona? No, but it's on my bucket list. I've heard so many great things about it. Barcelona is a vibrant city with stunning architecture and rich culture. I've seen pictures of the Sagrada Familia and it looks breathtaking. It's even more impressive in person. The details and craftsmanship are remarkable. I'd also love to visit Park Güell. The mosaic designs by Gaudi are amazing. Park Güell is a must visit. The colorful tiles and unique structures are truly captivating. I've heard the food in Barcelona is exceptional too. Tapas and paella are famous dishes. Absolutely. We should indulge in the local cuisine and explore the culinary scene. I'm excited to immerse myself in the vibrant atmosphere of Barcelona. It's a city that offers a perfect blend of history, art, and a lively ambience. Barcelona is definitely a destination worth experiencing. I can't wait to check it off my bucket list. Lesson 9 Gardening Tools and a Good Selection I think we should visit the gardening store. They usually have a good selection of gardening tools. That's a good idea. I need to get some new tools for my garden. It's important to have the right tools for efficient gardening and maintenance. I agree. It makes the tasks easier and helps achieve better results. We can look for high-quality tools that are durable and built to last. Yes, investing in good quality tools is a wise decision in the long run. We should also consider the specific tools we need based on our gardening requirements. Absolutely. Different tools are designed for different tasks, so we should choose accordingly. It's a good practice to see and feel the materials before buying. That makes sense. Do you have any recommendations for specific brands or models? I've had good experiences with brands like Fiskars and Derwitt. They offer reliable tools. I'll keep that in mind. Let's head to the gardening store and find the tools we need. Lesson 10 Seeing and Feeling Materials Before Buying when it comes to making purchases, it's always better to see and feel the materials before buying. I completely agree. It's important to have a tactile experience and assess the quality. By seeing and feeling the materials, we can make more informed decisions. It helps us evaluate the texture, durability, lesson 10, seeing and feeling materials before buying. When it comes to making purchases, it's always better to see and feel the materials before buying. I completely agree. It's important to have a tactile experience and assess the quality. 
By seeing and feeling the materials, we can make more informed decisions. It helps us evaluate the texture, durability, and overall craftsmanship. Plus, it allows us to gauge if the product meets our expectations. Absolutely. Sometimes, appearances can be deceiving, so it's essential to examine the product firsthand. It also gives us a chance to compare different options and choose the best one. That's true. We can explore various brands and variations to find the perfect fit. Additionally, seeing and feeling the materials can help us determine if it aligns with our personal preferences. It allows us to consider factors like comfort, style, and functionality. So, whether it's clothing, furniture, or any other product, taking the time to see and feel it is crucial. It ensures that we make purchases we're satisfied with in the long run. Definitely. Let's remember this practice and apply it whenever we're shopping. Agreed. It's a valuable tip for making informed and satisfying purchases. Lesson 11, Time Management I understand your concern. How much time are you suggesting we add? Well, I think we should add an extra hour each day to our study routine. That sounds reasonable. We can allocate that hour specifically for practicing speaking and listening skills. That's a good idea. It will help us improve our fluency and comprehension. Plus, it will give us more time to engage in conversations and discussions. Absolutely. The more we practice, the better we'll become. I agree. It's important to dedicate enough time to language learning. Definitely. Consistency is key when it comes to making progress. So, starting from tomorrow, we'll extend our study sessions by one hour. Yes, we should stick to the schedule and make the most of our learning time. Agreed. We'll see how this change affects our language skills in the long run. I'm optimistic that it will have a positive impact on our overall proficiency. Let's stay committed and make the most of our extended study sessions. Absolutely. Hard work and dedication will pay off in the end. I'm excited to see our progress with the additional study time. Me too. Let's make the most of this opportunity to enhance our English skills. Lesson 12, Bread Rising Rise. I let it rise for about 6 to 8 hours until it doubles in size. That's a long time. Why does it need to rise for so long? The rising process allows the yeast to ferment and produce carbon dioxide, making the bread fluffy and light. Ah, I see. So, the longer it rises, the more air pockets it develops. Exactly. It's important to give the dough enough time to ferment and develop its texture. Does the temperature affect the rising time? Yes, warmer temperatures speed up the fermentation process, while cooler temperatures slow it down. That's good to know. I'll make sure to consider the temperature when baking bread. It's also important to cover the dough while it's rising to prevent it from drying out. I'll remember that. Should the dough be kept in a specific place while rising? It's best to place it in a warm and draft-free area, like an oven with the light on or on top of a preheated oven. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks for sharing these tips on bread rising. You're welcome. Enjoy baking your own delicious homemade bread. Lesson 13, Connecting Flights Look, the gate is just up ahead. We're almost there. Great. I hope we don't have to rush to catch our connecting flight. Don't worry, we have a layover of two hours. That should be enough time. I hope so. I don't want to miss our next flight. 
As long as we keep an eye on the time and follow the signs, we should be fine. Should we go through security again at the connecting airport? In most cases, you won't have to go through security again if your bags are tagged to your final destination. That's a relief. It would be time consuming to go through security twice. Yes, it would. Just make sure to check the departure screens for any gate changes. Okay, I'll stay alert and keep an eye out for any updates. Good. Let's keep walking, and we'll be at the gate in no time. I'm excited about our upcoming destination. I can't wait to explore. Me too. It's going to be an incredible adventure. Lesson 14 Rental Options in the Maldives. I agree. Let's start looking for rental options in the Maldives, then. That sounds like a plan. We should search for villas or apartments with stunning ocean views. Absolutely. It would be amazing to wake up to the sound of the waves every morning. I'll start researching online and see what options are available. Make sure to check the reviews and ratings to ensure we find a reputable place. Of course. It's important to read about other people's experiences before making a decision. We should also consider the location and proximity to the beach and other attractions. Definitely. Being close to the beach will make our stay even more enjoyable. And let's not forget to check if there are any additional amenities, like a swimming pool or a gym. Good point. Those extra facilities could add to our overall experience. Once you have a short list of potential rentals, we can compare prices and make a final decision. Sounds like a plan. I'll start the search right away. Lesson 15, Scrambled Eggs I love having scrambled eggs. They're so simple to make. I agree. Scrambled eggs are a quick and delicious breakfast option. Do you have any tips for making fluffy scrambled eggs? Yes, beat the eggs well and add a splash of milk or cream for extra fluffiness. I'll remember that. Should I season the eggs before or after cooking? It's best to season them before cooking. Add salt and pepper to taste. What about cooking them? Should I use high heat? No, it's better to cook scrambled eggs over low to medium heat to avoid overcooking. How do I know when they're done? Cook them until they are just set but still slightly moist. They'll continue to cook off the heat. That's good to know. I don't want to end up with dry scrambled eggs. You can also add some grated cheese or chopped herbs for extra flavor. That sounds delicious. I'll try that next time. Enjoy your scrambled eggs. They're a classic breakfast choice for a reason. Thank you. I'm looking forward to enjoying a tasty and satisfying meal. You're welcome. Bon appetit. Lesson 16, Timeline for Completing This Project I'm a bit concerned about the timeline for completing this project. Do you think we'll be able to finish it on time? I understand your concern. It's important to plan and allocate our time effectively. Let's break down the tasks and set realistic deadlines. That sounds like a good approach. We should prioritize the most critical tasks and make sure we allocate enough time for each one. Absolutely. By setting clear goals and milestones, we can track our progress and make adjustments if necessary. I agree. It's also essential to communicate any challenges or delays promptly, so we can address them as a team. Communication is key, indeed. By keeping an open line of communication, we can work together to overcome any obstacles that may arise. 
That's true. Let's make sure we schedule regular check-ins to discuss our progress and address any concerns. That's a great idea. Regular check-ins will help us stay on track and ensure that we're working towards our goal within the allocated time frame. I'm glad we're on the same page. With proper planning and effective communication, I'm confident we'll be able to complete this project on time. Absolutely. By working together and staying focused, we can achieve our objectives within the given timeline. Let's get started. Lesson 17, I've always loved art. I've always loved art and decided to try it a few years ago. It's been an incredible journey so far. That's wonderful. Art is a beautiful way to express oneself. What medium do you enjoy working with the most? I started with drawing, but recently, I've been exploring painting as well. I find it incredibly therapeutic and fulfilling. Painting can be a great way to unleash your creativity. Do you have a particular style or subject matter that you enjoy? I'm still experimenting with different styles, but I'm drawn to landscapes and abstract art. I find them both challenging and inspiring. It's fantastic that you're exploring different styles. It's essential to keep pushing yourself and trying new things in art. Absolutely. Art is all about growth and self-expression. It's a continuous learning process that allows me to discover new possibilities. That's a beautiful way to approach art. Do you have any favorite artists or sources of inspiration? I draw inspiration from various artists, both contemporary and classical. Some of my favorites include Van Gogh, Monet, and Picasso. Those are excellent choices. Studying the works of renowned artists can provide valuable insights and inspiration for your own creations. Definitely. Learning from the masters and studying their techniques helps me refine my skills and develop my unique artistic voice. Keep up the fantastic work, John. Art is a lifelong journey, and I'm excited to see where it takes you next. Thank you, Anna. I appreciate your support and encouragement. I'll continue to explore and grow as an artist. Lesson 18 about the information I share online. I've been thinking about the information I share online, and I'm starting to realize the importance of being cautious. That's a valid concern, John. It's crucial to be mindful of the information we share on the internet to protect our privacy and security. Exactly. In this digital age, personal information can be easily accessed and misused if we're not careful. It's better to err on the side of caution and avoid sharing sensitive information like our home addresses, phone numbers, or financial details online. Agreed. We should also be mindful of what we post on social media platforms. Once something is out there, it can be challenging to control its spread. That's true. It's essential to think twice before posting anything online and consider the potential consequences. Additionally, we should be cautious about the websites we visit and the links we click. Malicious websites or phishing attempts can compromise our data. Absolutely. It's vital to keep our devices updated with the latest security patches and use strong, unique passwords for our online accounts. Taking these precautions will help us stay safe and protect our personal information from falling into the wrong hands. Definitely. John. Being proactive and informed about online security is essential in today's digital landscape. Lesson 19. Do you have any recommendations for booking a hotel room? Hi, Anna. I'm planning a trip, and I was wondering if you have any recommendations for booking a hotel room. Sure, John. There are a few popular hotel booking websites that you can consider, such as Booking.com, Expedia, and Hotels.com. Thanks for the suggestions, Anna. Are there any specific factors I should consider when booking a hotel room? 
Absolutely, John. Some factors to consider include the location of the hotel, the amenities it offers, customer reviews, and the price range that fits your budget. That makes sense. I'll make sure to check the hotel's proximity to the places I plan to visit and the availability of amenities like Wi-Fi and parking. That's a good idea. Reading customer reviews can also give you insights into the quality of service and cleanliness of the hotel. I'll definitely take that into account. It's essential to hear from other guests about their experiences before making a decision. Price is another crucial factor. Compare the prices on different booking websites to find the best deal that fits within your budget. Absolutely. I'll keep an eye out for any discounts or special offers that might be available during the dates of my trip. Great. Don't forget to double-check the reservation details before finalizing your booking to avoid any surprises or misunderstandings. Thanks for all the tips, Anna. I feel more confident now in finding the right hotel for my trip. You're welcome, John. I'm glad I could help. I hope you have a fantastic trip and enjoy your stay at the chosen hotel. Lesson 20. Find Affordable Options I'm concerned about my budget for this project. Do you think I'll be able to find affordable options? It depends on the specific requirements and resources needed for the project, but there are often affordable alternatives available. That's reassuring to hear. I want to ensure that I can complete the project without breaking the bank. One approach is to research different suppliers or service providers to compare prices and find the most cost-effective options. That's a good idea. By exploring different options, I can make an informed decision that aligns with my budget. Another strategy is to consider alternatives or substitutions for certain materials or services. Sometimes, similar options can be more budget-friendly. I'll keep that in mind. It's essential to be flexible and open to different possibilities to accommodate my budget. Additionally, you can try negotiating prices or seeking discounts from suppliers or contractors. Sometimes, they might be willing to offer better deals. Negotiation is definitely worth a shot. It could potentially help me secure more favorable prices and stay within my budget. Absolutely. With some research, creativity, and negotiation skills, you can often find affordable options that meet your project's requirements. Thank you for the advice, Anna. I feel more optimistic now about managing my budget effectively for this project. You're welcome, John. I'm glad I could assist you. Best of luck with your project, and I hope you achieve excellent results while staying within your budget. Lesson 21, Starting an Exercise Routine I've decided to start exercising regularly. It's important for my health. That's a great idea. Exercise has many benefits. It can improve your physical fitness and boost your mood. Exactly. I want to feel stronger and more energized. Do you have any suggestions on how I should get started? You can begin by setting specific goals for yourself. For example, aim to exercise for at least 30 minutes every day. That sounds doable. I think I'll start with some light cardio exercises like jogging or cycling. Cardio exercises are excellent for building endurance. You can also try incorporating strength training exercises to build muscle. That's a good point. I'll look into incorporating some weightlifting or bodyweight exercises into my routine. Remember to warm up before each workout and cool down afterward. It helps prevent injuries and promotes flexibility. I'll make sure to do that. It's essential to take care of my body while exercising. Absolutely. And don't forget to stay hydrated during your workouts. Water is crucial for maintaining optimal performance. 
I'll keep a water bottle with me at all times. Hydration is key to a successful workout. Lastly, listen to your body. If you feel any pain or discomfort, it's essential to take a break and rest. I'll definitely pay attention to how my body feels. Safety is a priority when it comes to exercise. Great. I'm excited to see your progress. Regular exercise will benefit you in many ways. Thank you for your support and advice, Anna. I'm looking forward to this new fitness journey. You're welcome, John. I'm here to cheer you on every step of the way. Good luck with your workouts. Lesson 22, A Medical Emergency Oh no, someone just got injured. We need to help them. Let's take them to the nearest hospital. Yes, we must act quickly. Their well-being is our top priority. I'll call for an ambulance right away. It's crucial to get professional medical assistance as soon as possible. While we wait for the ambulance, let's make sure the injured person is in a comfortable position and try to keep them calm. You're right. We should avoid moving them unless it's necessary to prevent further injury. Once the ambulance arrives, we'll explain the situation and provide any relevant information about the injury. It's important to give accurate details to help the medical professionals make the best decisions for the injured person. Absolutely. We should also be prepared to answer any questions they might have about the incident. I feel terrible. It's my entire fault that this happened. I should have been more careful. John, accidents happen, and it's essential not to blame yourself. What matters now is getting the injured person the help they need. You're right, Anna. I'll try to focus on assisting them and ensuring their well-being. That's the spirit, John. Let's stay with the injured person until they receive the necessary medical attention. We're doing the right thing by taking quick action. I hope the injured person recovers soon. Our efforts will make a difference, John. We're making sure they get the care they need. Hang in there. Lesson 23, Creating a Productive Workspace With all the distractions at home, I find it challenging to focus on my work. I need a separate workspace away from it all. That's a great idea, John. Having a designated workspace can help you stay productive and minimize distractions. I think I'll convert a spare room into an office. That way, I can have a quiet and dedicated space for work. That sounds like a good plan. Make sure to set up your workspace ergonomically, with a comfortable chair and proper lighting. I'll invest in a good chair and make sure the lighting is adequate. It's essential to take care of my physical well-being while working. Consider organizing your workspace efficiently. Have everything you need within reach to avoid unnecessary disruptions. That's a good point. I'll set up my desk with all the essential supplies and keep it tidy to stay organized. It might also help to establish a routine and set specific working hours for yourself. This way, you can create structure and maintain focus. I'll create a schedule and stick to it. Having a routine will help me stay on track and manage my time effectively. Lastly, don't forget to take short breaks throughout the day. Stepping away from your workspace can refresh your mind and increase productivity. I'll make sure to take regular breaks and recharge. It's important to find a balance between work and rest. Lesson 24. Pursuing Artistic Passions Yes, I participate in local art exhibitions and occasionally sell my pieces. That's wonderful, John. It's great that you're pursuing your artistic passions and sharing your work with others. Thank you, Anna. It's a fulfilling experience to showcase my art and connect with the local artistic community. 
Do you have a specific medium or style that you prefer to work with? I primarily work with acrylic paints and enjoy creating abstract pieces. I find it allows for a lot of creative freedom. Abstract art can be so expressive and open to interpretation. It's a unique way to convey emotions and ideas. Definitely. I love how abstract art allows the viewer to bring their own meaning and perspective to the artwork. Have you considered showcasing your art online as well? It can help reach a broader audience and connect with art enthusiasts worldwide. That's a great suggestion. I've been thinking about setting up a website or social media accounts to share my art online. It's an excellent way to promote your work and engage with a wider community. You can also explore online art marketplaces to sell your pieces. I'll definitely look into that. It would be fantastic to have an online presence and expand my reach as an artist. Remember to keep experimenting and exploring new techniques. Artistic growth comes from pushing boundaries and trying new things. Absolutely. I'm always looking for ways to challenge myself and evolve as an artist. Continuous learning is key. That's the spirit, John. Keep creating and pursuing your passion. Your art has the power to inspire and bring joy to others. Thank you for your encouragement, Anna. It means a lot to me. I'll continue to follow my artistic journey with enthusiasm. Lesson 25, Finding Fashionable Pieces Clothes, yes. I also found a trendy pair of jeans. That's great, John. Finding fashionable pieces can elevate your style and boost your confidence. Indeed. It's amazing how the right clothing can make you feel more put together and ready for any occasion. Do you have any tips for finding stylish clothes? One tip is to stay updated with current fashion trends. It helps to browse fashion magazines or follow fashion influencers for inspiration. That's a good point. Keeping up with trends can give you ideas on how to incorporate new styles into your wardrobe. Another tip is to find clothes that fit well and flatter your body type. Proper fit can make a significant difference in how an outfit looks. Absolutely. It's important to know your body shape and choose clothes that highlight your best features. I also find it helpful to invest in timeless pieces that can be easily mixed and matched. They provide versatility and longevity to your wardrobe. Building a capsule wardrobe with essential pieces is a great way to create various outfits with fewer items. Definitely. It's about quality over quantity. Having a few key pieces that you love and feel confident in is more valuable than a closet full of clothes you rarely wear. Lastly, don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone and try new styles. Fashion is about self-expression and embracing your individuality. I'll keep that in mind, Anna. It's exciting to explore different styles and experiment with my personal fashion choices. Enjoy the process, John. Fashion is a creative outlet that allows you to showcase your unique style and personality. Thank you, Anna. Your advice is greatly appreciated. I'll continue to seek out fashionable pieces that resonate with my personal style. Lesson 26, Checking the Weather and Researching Local We should remember to check the weather during our travel dates. That's a good point. It's important to be prepared for any weather conditions. Absolutely. It helps us plan our activities and pack accordingly. We should also research the local attractions and places to visit. Yes, that way we can make the most of our trip and not miss out on anything interesting. It's always exciting to discover new places and experience different cultures. I agree. It's a great opportunity to learn and broaden our horizons. Plus, we can try the local cuisine and explore the unique flavors. 
That's true. Food is an important part of experiencing a new place. We should also look into any local customs or etiquette to respect the local culture. Absolutely. It's important to be mindful and show respect to the local people. By doing so, we can have a more immersive and fulfilling travel experience. Definitely. It's all about embracing the local culture and making lasting memories. I can't wait to explore and learn more about the place we're visiting. Me too. It's going to be an exciting adventure. Let's make sure we're well prepared and make the most of our trip. Agreed. Preparation and research are key to a successful and enjoyable journey. I'm looking forward to it. Let's make it a memorable experience. Lesson 27, Remembering the Visit and Buying Souvenirs That's a good choice. Taking pictures is a nice way to remember your visit. Yes, capturing those special moments helps create lasting memories. Do you plan to buy anything from here? Souvenirs, perhaps? Yes, I'd love to bring back some souvenirs as mementos of our trip. It's always nice to have something tangible that reminds us of our experiences. I agree. It could be a small trinket or something representative of the place. That way, whenever we look at it, it'll bring back fond memories. Exactly. It's like carrying a piece of that place with us wherever we go. Souvenirs can also be great gifts for friends and family back home. That's true. It's a thoughtful way to share our travel experiences with them. Plus, it might spark their interest in visiting the place themselves. It's like passing on the excitement and inspiration for exploration. Absolutely. Souvenirs can hold sentimental value and tell a unique story. I'm really looking forward to exploring the local markets and finding something special. Me too. Let's make sure to choose souvenirs that truly capture the essence of the place. Agreed. It'll be a wonderful way to remember our trip for years to come. Lesson 28, Obedience Classes for Luna You're welcome. By the way, do you take Luna to obedience classes? Yes, we do. It has been really helpful in training her. That's great to hear. Obedience classes can make a big difference in a dog's behavior. Definitely. It teaches them important commands and improves their socialization skills. It also helps create a stronger bond between the owner and the dog. Yes, Luna and I have developed a better understanding through the classes. That's wonderful. Consistency and practice are key in dog training. Absolutely. It's important to reinforce the lessons learned in class at home too. I imagine Luna must be quite well behaved now. She has improved a lot, but there's always more to learn and reinforce. It's an ongoing process, but it's worth the effort for a well-behaved and happy dog. I couldn't agree more. Obedience classes have been a game-changer for us. I'm glad to hear that. Luna is lucky to have such a dedicated owner. Thank you. It's been a rewarding experience for both of us. Lesson 29, Maintaining a Clear Distinction There should be a clear distinction between work and home life. Definitely. It helps maintain a healthy work-life balance. When we bring work home, it can be challenging to relax and unwind. That's true. It's important to have dedicated time for ourselves and our loved ones. Setting boundaries and creating a separation between work and home is crucial. Yes, it allows us to recharge and be fully present in our personal lives. 
It's also important for our mental and emotional well being. Absolutely. We need to prioritize self care and quality time with our loved ones. Lesson 30 Looking forward to further discussions. Sounds good. I look forward to further discussions. Me too. It's always beneficial to exchange ideas and perspectives. Absolutely. Engaging in conversations helps us broaden our knowledge. It also challenges our thinking and encourages critical thought. Yes, it's through discussions that we can learn from one another. And it allows us to explore different viewpoints and find common ground. It's important to approach discussions with an open mind and respect for others. Yes, active listening and thoughtful responses are key to constructive conversations. It's also important to be willing to consider new ideas and adapt our own views. That's true. Growth and learning happen when we embrace new perspectives. I'm grateful for the opportunity to have these discussions with you. Likewise, it's a privilege to engage in meaningful conversations. Let's continue to have these enriching discussions and learn from one another. Absolutely. I'm excited for the knowledge and insights that lie ahead. Here's to further discussions and continued growth. Lesson 31 Floral Patterns Floral patterns sound lovely, don't they? Yes, they do. They add a touch of beauty to any outfit. Absolutely. I think they're a great choice for both casual and formal occasions. I agree. They can make a simple dress or shirt look more elegant and fashionable. And the best part is, we have a variety of options for floral patterns. Different colors and sizes to suit everyone's taste. That's true. Whether you prefer large, bold flowers or delicate, small ones, there's something for everyone. Exactly. And they're versatile too. You can wear them in any season, be it spring, summer, or even fall. That's a great point. Floral patterns can bring a bit of nature's beauty into our everyday lives. They certainly can. It's amazing how a simple pattern can have such a positive impact on our mood and style. I couldn't agree more. I always feel more cheerful and confident when I wear floral prints. It's like carrying a piece of a blooming garden with you wherever you go. Indeed. So, let's embrace floral patterns and add a touch of elegance to our wardrobes. Absolutely. Let's choose some beautiful floral prints and enjoy the beauty they bring to our lives. I'm already excited to go shopping for some lovely floral outfits. That sounds like a wonderful plan. I can't wait to see what we find. Me too. It's going to be a fun and fashionable adventure. Definitely. Let's make a statement with our floral fashion choices. Agreed. Here's to embracing the beauty of floral patterns. Lesson 32, Your Stay I'm planning to stay for five nights. How long are you planning to stay? I'm planning to stay for six nights. It'll give me more time to explore the city. That sounds like a good plan. Six nights should give you enough time to see the main attractions. Yes, I want to make sure I don't miss out on anything interesting. That's a smart approach. There's so much to see and do here. I've heard great things about the local cuisine. I'm looking forward to trying some traditional dishes. You'll love it. The food here is fantastic. Make sure to try the local specialties. I definitely will. I enjoy exploring different cuisines when I travel. 
that's the best way to experience a new culture. Trying the local food is a must. I completely agree. It's one of my favorite things about traveling. And don't forget to take some time to relax and enjoy the local atmosphere. Of course. I'll make sure to find some charming cafes and parks to unwind. That's a great idea. You'll find plenty of beautiful spots to relax and take in the surroundings. I'm really looking forward to my stay here. It seems like a vibrant and exciting city. You'll fit right in. The city has a welcoming and friendly vibe. That's good to hear. I'm always excited to meet new people and make new connections. You'll have a great time. The locals are known for their hospitality. That's wonderful. I'm glad to hear that. I'm sure it'll be a memorable trip. I have no doubt about that. Enjoy your stay and have a fantastic time exploring the city. Lesson 33, How's the Market Been? How's the market been lately? I've heard it's been quite volatile. Yes, you're right. It has been a bit unpredictable recently. That's not surprising. The market tends to go through ups and downs. Indeed. It's important to stay informed and make wise investment decisions. Absolutely. Keeping up with the latest news and trends can help us make better choices. That's true. It's also a good idea to diversify our investments to minimize risks. Diversification is key. It allows us to spread out our investments across different sectors. That way. If one sector is performing poorly, the others can balance it out. Precisely. It's all about managing risks and maximizing potential returns. I couldn't agree more. We need to be strategic and well-informed investors. And it's important to remember that long-term investments often yield better results. That's a valuable point. Patience and a long-term perspective are crucial in the market. Definitely. It's also a good idea to consult with financial advisors for expert guidance. Yes, they can provide us with valuable insights and help us make informed decisions. Lesson 34, I always enjoy working in a friendly environment. You'll fit right in. The team here is very welcoming. That's great to hear. I always enjoy working in a friendly environment. I'm sure you'll have a smooth transition. Everyone is looking forward to having you on board. Thank you, John. I'm excited to join the team and contribute to the company's success. We're excited to have you. If you have any questions or need any assistance, feel free to ask. I appreciate that, John. I'll definitely reach out if I need any help. That's what we're here for. We want to ensure you have a positive experience. It's good to know that support is available. I'm confident I'll settle in quickly. I have no doubt about that. Your skills and experience make you a valuable addition to the team. Thank you, John. I'm eager to start and make a positive impact. We're lucky to have you. I'm confident you'll excel in your new role. I'll do my best. I'm grateful for the opportunity to contribute to the company's growth. We're grateful to have you. I'm looking forward to seeing your ideas and contributions. I'm excited to share my ideas and work collaboratively with the team. Collaboration is key to success. We value teamwork and open communication. That's great to hear. I believe in the power of collaboration and synergy. We're on the same page. Together, we can achieve great things. Absolutely. 
I'm ready to hit the ground running and make a difference. That's the spirit. I have no doubt you'll thrive in our work environment. Thank you, John. I'm grateful for your support and confidence in me. You deserve it. Welcome aboard, Anna. Lesson 35, Bright and Early on Saturday Are you ready for our hiking trip bright and early on Saturday? Absolutely. I've been looking forward to it all week. That's great to hear. It's going to be a beautiful day for a hike. I'm excited to explore the trails and enjoy the scenic views. We're lucky to have such breathtaking nature trails nearby. I agree. It's always refreshing to spend time in nature and reconnect with the outdoors. Hiking is a great way to stay active and appreciate the beauty of our surroundings. Definitely. It's also a good opportunity to disconnect from technology and unwind. That's true. It's nice to take a break from screens and enjoy the simplicity of nature. I'm glad we planned this hike. It's a perfect way to recharge and rejuvenate. I couldn't agree more. Nature has a way of refreshing both our bodies and minds. I'm also looking forward to capturing some beautiful photos along the way. The scenery will provide plenty of photo opportunities. Nature's beauty is truly inspiring. I'll make sure to bring my camera and capture the moments we'll cherish. That's a great idea. We'll have lasting memories of this adventure. I can't wait for Saturday to arrive. It's going to be an amazing day. It definitely will be. Get a good night's sleep, and we'll meet early to start our hike. I'll be ready and full of energy. Let's make the most of our hiking adventure. Absolutely. It's going to be a memorable experience. See you bright and early on Saturday. Lesson 36, Right Direction I believe we're heading in the right direction with the project. That's wonderful news. I appreciate your efforts. What specific improvements have you made? I've identified areas that need just some minor tweaks after analyzing the data. Excellent. Paying attention to details is crucial. I value your commitment to making those adjustments. Thank you for your feedback. It's valuable to me in refining our work. You're welcome. Constructive feedback is essential for growth and improvement. I'm glad you find it valuable. Absolutely. It helps us stay focused and deliver a better outcome. I couldn't agree more. Continuous improvement is key to our success. Let's keep up the good work. Definitely. I'll make sure to implement your suggestions and make the necessary changes. Thank you for your commitment. Working together, we can achieve great results. Lesson 37, Online versus Reality We often see online isn't always reality. Exactly. It's important to remember that what we see online may not always reflect the truth. We should focus on our own progress instead of comparing ourselves to others. That's a wise perspective. Comparisons can be misleading and hinder our own growth. It's better to set our own goals and work towards achieving them. I agree. Each person's journey is unique, and we should focus on our own path to success. By concentrating on our own development, we can make significant progress. Absolutely. Our individual growth is what truly matters in the end. Lesson 38, Targeting New Customers That's a great idea. What about targeting new customers? It's worth considering. 
expanding our customer base can lead to significant growth. We should explore new marketing strategies to reach a wider audience. Agreed. Reaching out to potential customers through different channels can increase our visibility. We could analyze market trends and identify potential target demographics. That's a proactive approach. Understanding our target audience can help us tailor our efforts effectively. By targeting new customers, we can expand our reach and increase our market share. Precisely. It's a smart business move that can lead to long-term success. Lesson 39. Staying ahead of the game. That's a good point. Staying ahead of the game is crucial for success. Absolutely. In today's competitive landscape, continuous improvement is necessary to stay relevant. We should invest in research and development to innovate and offer better products. I agree. Innovation allows us to meet the evolving needs of our customers and stay competitive. Regularly monitoring industry trends and adapting our strategies accordingly can give us an edge. True. Being aware of market changes helps us make informed decisions and stay ahead. By staying ahead of the game, we can lead the industry and maintain our competitive advantage. Indeed. It positions us for continued growth and success in the long run. Lesson 40. Relaxing at the beach. How was your time at the beach? It was beautiful. I love the relaxing atmosphere and the sound of the ocean. I find the beach incredibly peaceful. It's a great place to unwind and recharge. Absolutely. It's a perfect escape from the busy and hectic pace of everyday life. The soothing waves and warm sand make it an ideal spot for relaxation. I couldn't agree more. The beach has a calming effect on the mind and body. I'm glad you enjoyed your time there. It sounds like you had a rejuvenating experience. Thank you. It was a much-needed break that left me feeling refreshed and renewed. Lesson 41, Lowering the Volume it seems to be working fine, but let's try lowering it. Lowering the volume could be a good idea. It might create a better balance. We should test it with different settings to find the optimal level. Absolutely. Experimenting will help us find the right volume that suits our needs. Once we find the sweet spot, we can enjoy a more pleasant listening experience. That's true. Adjusting the volume can significantly enhance our overall enjoyment. Let's give it a try and see how it sounds. We can fine-tune it until it's just right. Agreed. It's worth the effort to find the perfect volume for our needs. Lesson 42, Skewers and Roasting As well, absolutely. We used skewers and roasted the vegetables for a delicious meal. Oh, I've seen people rocking those styles. They look so chic. Skewers make cooking vegetables easier and add a nice touch to the presentation. That's true. Skewering the vegetables can make them more appealing and fun to eat. It also allows for even cooking and adds a smoky flavor to the vegetables. I bet it tastes amazing. I'll have to come over for a pasta night. Absolutely. I'll be happy to prepare a delicious pasta dish with roasted vegetables for you. That sounds wonderful. I'm looking forward to it. Lesson 43, Chic Styles I've seen people rocking those styles. They look so chic. Indeed. Fashion trends can greatly influence the way people present themselves. It's fascinating how clothing choices can reflect personal style and individuality. Absolutely. 
Fashion is a form of self-expression that allows people to showcase their creativity. Some styles have a timeless appeal, while others are more trendy and ever-changing. That's true. Fashion is constantly evolving, and people have different preferences when it comes to style. It's interesting to observe how fashion choices can vary across different cultures and regions. Yes, fashion is influenced by various factors, including culture, environment, and personal taste. Lesson 44, Pasta Night I bet it tastes amazing. I'll have to come over for a pasta night. That sounds like a wonderful plan. I'd love to have you over for a delicious pasta dinner. I'll prepare a mouth-watering pasta dish with a homemade sauce and fresh ingredients. I'm looking forward to it. Cooking together and enjoying a meal is always a delightful experience. We can pair it with a nice glass of wine and have a memorable evening. That sounds perfect. Good food, good company, and good conversation make for a delightful evening. Lesson 45, Flight Booking Have you booked our flight yet? Yes, I booked two tickets. That's great. Booking the flight in advance ensures a smoother travel experience. Did you manage to find good seats? Yes, I made sure to select seats with extra legroom for added comfort. It's always a relief to have the travel arrangements sorted out ahead of time. Absolutely. Planning ahead reduces stress and allows us to focus on enjoying the trip. Thank you for taking care of the flight arrangements. I appreciate your effort. You're welcome. I'm glad I could assist. Let's look forward to a fantastic journey. Lesson 46, Partial Shade I'm planning to get some plants for my garden. I have an area that gets partial shade. That's great. Partial shade can be ideal for certain types of plants. I'll get both sun-loving and shade-tolerant plants to ensure variety and color. That's a good approach. Having a mix of plants will create a visually appealing garden. Is there anything else I should consider when choosing plants for partial shade? Yes, it's important to select plants that thrive in lower light conditions and have adapted to shade. I'll keep that in mind. It's exciting to create a garden with a diverse range of plants. Absolutely. Your garden will look beautiful with the right selection of plants for partial shade. Lesson 47, Unexpected Situation Have you ever encountered an unexpected situation while traveling? Yes, I have. It can be challenging, but it's important to stay calm and find a solution. How did you handle the situation when you faced unexpected circumstances? I had to find a local person to help me navigate the situation and provide guidance. That's a good approach. Locals often have valuable knowledge and can offer assistance. Yes, they can provide insights and help bridge the gap when facing unexpected challenges. It's crucial to remain flexible and open-minded when dealing with unexpected situations. Absolutely. Adaptability and resourcefulness are key when things don't go as planned. Lesson 48, Recycling Are you familiar with recycling? It's an important practice for the environment. Yes, I am. Recycling helps to reduce waste and conserve natural resources. It's crucial to separate recyclable materials from general waste for proper recycling. That's correct. Sorting recyclables ensures that they can be processed and reused efficiently. Recycling plays a significant role in reducing pollution and minimizing landfill waste. Yes, it's an effective way to contribute to a more sustainable and eco-friendly future. 
By recycling, we can make a positive impact on the environment and promote conservation. Absolutely. It's important for everyone to participate in recycling efforts for a greener planet. Lesson 49, Dream Destination. I was thinking of going to the Maldives for a vacation. It's known for its stunning beaches and luxurious resorts. That sounds like a fantastic choice. The Maldives offers a perfect tropical getaway. I've seen breathtaking pictures of the crystal clear waters and picturesque islands. Yes, the Maldives has some of the most beautiful natural scenery in the world. It would be wonderful to relax on the pristine beaches and explore the vibrant marine life. Absolutely. Snorkeling or diving in the Maldives would be an unforgettable experience. The Maldives seems like a dream destination for a tranquil and luxurious vacation. It's definitely a place where you can unwind and enjoy a paradise-like atmosphere. Lesson 50, Maps and Announcements I heard that maps are available at every station, and announcements are clear in the subway. That's great to know. Having accessible maps and clear announcements makes navigation easier. It's essential to have reliable information when using public transportation in a new city. Yes, clear instructions and signage help commuters and tourists find their way more efficiently. With maps and clear announcements, it's easier to plan routes and reach destinations. Absolutely. It reduces confusion and ensures a smoother travel experience for everyone. Accessible information in public transportation promotes convenience and efficiency. Definitely. It's important for transportation systems to prioritize clear communication for passengers. Lesson 51, Lost Luggage Oh no, what happened? I lost my luggage. It didn't arrive with me. That's unfortunate. Did you check with the airline? Yes, I did. They said it might have been misplaced during the transfer. Don't worry. They should be able to locate it and have it delivered to you soon. I hope so. It had all my clothes and personal belongings. Did you file a lost luggage report? Yes, I did that at the airport. They gave me a reference number. Good. Keep that reference number safe. It will help speed up the process. I will. I'm just worried about not having anything to wear for the next few days. In the meantime, you can buy some essentials like toiletries and a change of clothes. That's a good idea. I'll do that while I wait for my luggage to be found. Remember to keep all your receipts. You might be able to claim reimbursement later. Thanks for the advice. I'll make sure to keep track of everything. Hopefully, your luggage will be found soon, and this will all be resolved. I really hope so. It's not a pleasant way to start my trip. Stay positive. I'm sure things will work out in the end. Thank you for your support. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Lesson 52, Memory and Online Purchase The flight was so long. I'm exhausted. I can imagine. Traveling for long periods can be tiring. Yeah, that's why I bought a memory foam neck pillow online. That's a smart move. A comfortable neck pillow can make a big difference. Absolutely. It provides good support and helps me sleep better during the flight. Where did you buy it from? Any recommendations? I bought it from an online store called Comfy Rest. They had good reviews. That's great. I'll check it out. 
I need a new neck pillow too. I think you'll like it. It's made of high quality memory foam. Is it easy to clean? Yes, it has a removable and washable cover. Perfect. I'll definitely give it a try. Thanks for the recommendation. You're welcome. I'm sure you'll find it comfortable for your next trip. I'm looking forward to it. Good quality sleep during a flight is priceless. Absolutely. It makes the journey much more enjoyable. Thanks again for sharing this information. Lesson 53, Mexican Food and Bella Italia The restaurant next to Bella Italia serves Mexican food. Oh, I love Mexican food too. What's the name of the restaurant? It's called Hola Amigos. They have a great selection of Mexican dishes. That sounds fantastic. I've been craving some good Mexican cuisine. You'll definitely enjoy it. Their tacos and enchiladas are delicious. Are they known for their spicy dishes? Yes, they offer a range of spice levels, so you can choose according to your preference. That's good to know. I like a little spice but nothing too overwhelming. They have options for all taste buds, from mild to extra spicy. Perfect. We should definitely go there for dinner sometime. I'm up for it. Let's plan a dinner there soon. Sounds like a plan. I can't wait to try their Mexican specialties. It'll be a culinary adventure for both of us. Indeed. I'm looking forward to it. Lesson 54, Picnic and Sandwiches It's such a beautiful day. We should have a picnic. That's a great idea. We can enjoy the weather and some good food. Definitely. We can pack some sandwiches and other snacks. What kind of sandwiches do you prefer? I like classic turkey and cheese sandwiches. What about you? I'm a fan of chicken and avocado sandwiches. Sounds delicious. We can make a variety of sandwiches to cater to everyone's taste. That's a good plan. We can also pack some fruits and drinks. Agreed. A refreshing fruit salad would be a great addition. I'll bring some homemade lemonade too. Perfect. It'll be a delightful picnic spread. I can't wait to enjoy the food and the outdoors. Me too. It'll be a wonderful way to spend the day. Let's make sure to find a nice spot with a view. Lesson 55 Tower of London. There are so many specific attractions in London. Yes, I want to see the Tower of London. That's a great choice. The Tower of London is rich in history and has a lot to offer. I've heard it's home to the crown jewels. I don't want to miss seeing them. Absolutely. The crown jewels are a must see. They're a symbol of British royalty. I'm also interested in exploring the medieval architecture of the tower. You'll be amazed by the well-preserved structures and the stories behind them. Are there any guided tours available? Yes, they offer guided tours led by the yeoman warders, also known as beefeaters. That sounds fascinating. I'd love to learn more about the tower's history from them. The tour also includes a visit to the White Tower, which houses the royal armories. I'm excited to see the collection of armors and weapons. It's quite impressive. You'll get a glimpse into England's military history. I can't wait to explore the Tower of London. It's going to be a memorable experience. 
I'm sure you'll have a fantastic time. Don't forget your camera to capture the moments. Definitely. I want to capture the grandeur of the tower and its surroundings. Enjoy your visit to the Tower of London. I look forward to hearing all about it. Thank you. I'll make sure to share all the highlights with you. Lesson 56, Recharge and Stay Safe I had a busy week at work. I need to recharge well this weekend. That's important. Taking time to rest and recharge is crucial for your well-being. I plan to relax at home and maybe catch up on some reading. Reading is a great way to unwind and escape into different worlds. Exactly. It's a fun way to experience different cultures without leaving home. Absolutely. Books allow us to explore new perspectives and broaden our horizons. I'm looking forward to immersing myself in a good book and having a great time. Enjoy your reading and make the most of your weekend. Recharge well and stay safe out there. Lesson 57, Fun Way to Experience Different Cultures I've always been fascinated by different cultures and their traditions. That's wonderful. Exploring different cultures can be an enriching experience. It's amazing how diverse our world is and how much there is to learn. Indeed. Each culture has its unique customs, food, and way of life. I enjoy trying out international cuisines. It's a fun way to experience different cultures. Absolutely. Food is a gateway to understanding a culture's history and traditions. It's like taking a culinary journey around the world without leaving home. That's the beauty of it. You can savor the flavors and appreciate the diversity of our world. Exactly. It's a fun and delicious way to broaden our horizons and learn about different cultures. Lesson 58, Sharing Professions I work as a software engineer. How about you, Anna? I'm a teacher at a local high school. I enjoy working with students. That's wonderful. Teachers play a crucial role in shaping young minds. Thank you. It's rewarding to see my students grow and learn. As a software engineer, I get to solve problems using technology. It's challenging but fulfilling. That's fascinating. Technology is advancing rapidly, and your work contributes to that progress. I appreciate the important work teachers do in educating the next generation. Thank you for your kind words. It's a privilege to be a teacher and make a difference in students' lives. Lesson 59, Payment for Stay I found a hotel for my upcoming trip. That would be perfect. That's great news. I'm glad you found suitable accommodation. Now, I need to figure out how to pay for my stay. What options do they offer? Most hotels accept credit cards as a convenient and secure payment method. That works well for me. I appreciate your flexibility and willingness to help. Not a problem at all. It's my pleasure to assist you with your travel arrangements. I'll make sure to have my credit card ready when I check in at the hotel. That's a good plan. Enjoy your trip and have a pleasant stay at the hotel. Lesson 60, Fascinating Japan I've always been intrigued by the culture and traditions of Japan. Japan is indeed a fascinating country with a rich heritage and unique customs. I'm especially interested in their traditional arts like calligraphy and tea ceremonies. Those are beautiful aspects of Japanese culture. They require precision and attention to detail. It would be amazing to witness a tea ceremony firsthand and learn about its significance. 
Japan is a great choice for immersing yourself in a different cultural experience. Absolutely. I'm excited to explore the temples, gardens, and taste authentic Japanese cuisine. It sounds like a wonderful adventure. Enjoy your trip to Japan and embrace all it has to offer. Lesson 61 Interactive Toys for Furry Friends. I'm looking for interactive toys for my furry friend. Any recommendations? Interactive toys can provide mental stimulation and entertainment for pets. Have you considered puzzle toys? Puzzle toys sound interesting. How do they work? Puzzle toys typically have hidden compartments where you can hide treats or toys. Pets have to figure out how to access them. That sounds like a fun challenge for my pet. I'll definitely look into puzzle toys. Another option is interactive ball launchers. They can keep your pet engaged by throwing and fetching balls automatically. That's a great idea. My pet loves playing fetch. An interactive ball launcher would be perfect. It's important to choose toys that are safe and suitable for your pet's size and breed. Absolutely. I'll make sure to select toys that are appropriate for my furry friend. Thank you for the suggestions. You're welcome. I'm sure your pet will enjoy the interactive toys. Lesson 62 Dietary Preferences. Hey, do you have any dietary preferences? Yes, I'm actually a vegetarian. I choose not to eat meat. That's interesting. What made you decide to become a vegetarian? There are various reasons people choose a vegetarian diet, such as health, environmental concerns, or ethical considerations. I respect your choice. It's important to be mindful of our food choices and their impact. Thank you. It's a personal decision that aligns with my values and lifestyle. I appreciate your perspective. It's good to have a diverse range of dietary preferences. Absolutely. Each person has their own unique needs and preferences when it comes to food. Understanding and respecting those differences can lead to a more inclusive and enjoyable dining experience. I couldn't agree more. It's important to accommodate different dietary preferences whenever possible. Lesson 63, New Hobby Oh, really? What's your new hobby? I've recently taken up painting. It's a wonderful way to express my creativity. That's fantastic. What kind of painting do you enjoy the most? I've been experimenting with acrylic paints and focusing on landscapes and nature scenes. That sounds lovely. Painting nature scenes allows you to capture the beauty of the outdoors. Yes, it's a peaceful and meditative activity. I find it quite relaxing. I'm glad you found a hobby that brings you joy and helps you unwind. Thank you. Hobbies provide an outlet for self-expression and personal growth. I couldn't agree more. It's important to make time for activities that bring us happiness and fulfillment. Absolutely. Hobbies add richness to our lives and allow us to explore new interests. Lesson 64 Taking breaks. How do you feel about taking breaks during the workday? You're right. It's important to step out and recharge throughout the day. Sometimes I feel guilty for taking breaks, but I know it's necessary for productivity. Breaks are actually beneficial for productivity. They help prevent burnout and improve focus. That's true. I notice that I'm more productive and focused after taking short breaks. It's essential to listen to your body and mind's need for rest and rejuvenation. You're absolutely right. 
I'll make a conscious effort to take regular breaks and come back refreshed. That's a great approach. Remember, self-care and well-being are essential for long-term success. Thank you for the reminder. I appreciate your insight and support. You're welcome. Take care of yourself and prioritize your well-being. Lesson 65, Cozy Cottage by the Beach I rented a cozy cottage near the beach. It was perfect. That sounds wonderful. A cottage by the beach can be so relaxing and rejuvenating. It was the ideal escape from the city. The sound of the waves was so calming. Being close to nature can have a soothing effect on the mind and body. Absolutely. I spent my days walking along the shore and enjoying the beautiful sunsets. It must have been a peaceful retreat away from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. It truly was. I felt refreshed and recharged after my stay at the cottage. It's important to take time for ourselves and find moments of tranquility. I couldn't agree more. I'm grateful for the opportunity to unwind and connect with nature. Cherish those moments and carry the serenity with you as you return to your daily routine. Lesson 66. Prepare everything the night before. I've heard that preparing everything the night before can save a lot of time. What do you think? Yes, it's a smart habit to adopt. Planning and organizing in advance can make mornings smoother. That makes sense. Are there any specific things you recommend preparing ahead of time? You can lay out your clothes, pack your bag, and prepare your breakfast or lunch in advance. I'll definitely give it a try. It sounds like it would save me a lot of stress in the morning. It can certainly make your mornings more efficient and give you a head start to the day. I appreciate the advice. I'll start preparing everything the night before from now on. That's a great decision. It'll help you start your day on a positive note. Lesson 67, Attending Industry Meetups Do you attend industry meetups? I'm thinking about going to some. Yes, I attend industry meetups. They can be a great way to network and stay updated with industry trends. That's smart. Have you had any luck meeting new people or making valuable connections? Yes, I've made some valuable connections and even found new job opportunities through meetups. That's impressive. I hope I can have similar experiences when I start attending meetups. Just be open and proactive. Engage in conversations and don't be afraid to introduce yourself. I'll keep that in mind. It's exciting to think about the potential opportunities that await. Absolutely. Industry meetups can be valuable for professional growth and expanding your network. Lesson 68, Dessert Options Would you like any desserts? Maybe we can have some cookies or brownies for dessert. Desserts sound tempting. Both cookies and brownies are delicious options. Great! I can bake some chocolate chip cookies or fudgy brownies. Which one would you prefer? I love both, but I have a soft spot for warm, gooey chocolate chip cookies. Excellent choice! I'll make sure to bake a batch of fresh chocolate chip cookies for dessert. That sounds delightful. I can't wait to enjoy them with a cup of tea. It's settled then. Chocolate chip cookies it is. I'll get started on the baking right away. Thank you for the sweet treat. I'm looking forward to indulging in some homemade cookies. Lesson 69 Transforming Living Space I've always wanted to transform my living space into a personalized gallery. That's a wonderful idea. 
Surrounding yourself with art and personal touches can make your space special. I agree. It adds character and reflects my personality and interests. What kind of artwork do you envision displaying in your personalized gallery? I'm drawn to abstract paintings and vibrant photography. They bring a sense of energy and creativity. That sounds like a fantastic combination. It'll create a visually stimulating and unique ambience. I'm excited to start curating and hanging the artwork. It will truly make my living space feel like home. Enjoy the process of transforming your space into a personalized gallery. It's an opportunity for self-expression. Lesson 70, Meeting Expectations I have a budget of $1,000 for this project. Let me check if we can meet your expectation. I appreciate your consideration. Take your time to see if we can work within the given budget. After reviewing the options, I'm confident that we can meet your expectations with the given budget. That's great to hear. I'm glad we can stay within the budget while achieving the desired outcome. It's important to find a balance between quality and affordability. I believe we've achieved that. Thank you for your effort and professionalism. I'm excited to see the project come to life. Lesson 71, Finding the Perfect Pair of Jeans Hi, can you help me find the perfect pair of jeans? Of course, I'd be glad to assist you. What style are you looking for? I prefer a slim fit with a medium wash. Something versatile and comfortable. That's a popular choice. We have a variety of brands and styles to choose from. Do you have any recommendations within a reasonable price range? Certainly. I suggest checking out our store brand. They offer good quality at an affordable price. That sounds promising. Can you show me where I can find them? Sure, they're located in the denim section. Let me guide you there. Thank you for your help. I appreciate your assistance in finding the perfect pair of jeans. You're welcome. I'm here to make your shopping experience enjoyable and successful. Lesson 72, Variety of Brush Types and Sizes Yes, they have a variety of brush types and sizes to choose from. That's excellent. Having options allows you to find the perfect brush for your needs. Exactly. I need different brushes for different painting techniques. You'll find brushes suitable for acrylic, watercolor, and oil painting, among others. That's fantastic. I can't wait to explore the selection and expand my artistic tools. It's always exciting to discover new brushes that can enhance your creative process. I'm grateful for the wide range of choices. It makes my artistic journey more fulfilling. Enjoy exploring the brush section and finding the perfect tools to bring your vision to life. Lesson 73 Enjoying the networking event. Hi, how are you enjoying the networking event? Hi there. It's great so far. The atmosphere is energetic, and I've met interesting professionals. That's wonderful to hear. Networking events can be valuable for expanding your connections. Absolutely. It's an opportunity to exchange ideas, learn from others, and build relationships. Have you made any promising connections or had engaging conversations? Yes, I've had fruitful conversations and exchanged contact information with a few individuals. That's impressive. I hope to have similar experiences and make meaningful connections. Stay open, approachable, and proactive. You'll find valuable opportunities at events like these. Lesson 74, Buying Postcards for Friends 
I also want to buy postcards for my friends. Great idea! Postcards are a thoughtful way to share your experiences and keep in touch with loved ones. Definitely. They're unique souvenirs that capture the essence of a place. We have a variety of postcards featuring different landmarks and local attractions. That's perfect. I want to choose postcards that represent the places I visited. Take your time to browse through the options and select the ones that resonate with you. Thank you for your guidance. I'm excited to send these postcards to my friends. They'll appreciate the personal touch. Enjoy selecting the postcards that reflect your experiences. Lesson 75 Trouble Finding Specific Things. Did you have any trouble finding specific things? Well, I couldn't find fresh basil, but we have dried basil in the spice section. That's unfortunate. Dried basil will have to do for now. It's a good alternative when fresh ingredients are not available. Are there any other fresh herbs I should be aware of that might be out of stock? We're currently experiencing a shortage of cilantro, but we have plenty of parsley and dill. Thanks for letting me know. I'll adjust my recipes accordingly. You're welcome. If you need any assistance or substitutions, feel free to ask. I appreciate your help. It's good to be aware of any shortages or alternatives when cooking. Lesson 76 Without Causing Conflict I understand you had a disagreement with your colleague. Did you talk to them about it? Yes, I approached them calmly and expressed my concerns in a respectful manner. That's a wise approach. It's important to address conflicts directly and constructively. Absolutely. Open communication can often lead to a resolution and stronger relationships. Did your colleague respond positively to your conversation? Yes, they were receptive to my feedback and we were able to find a common ground. That's great to hear. Handling conflicts maturely is essential in a professional setting. It's a skill worth developing, as it can lead to a more harmonious work environment. Lesson 77, Most Memorable Experience Overall, what was your most memorable experience from your trip? Visiting the ancient ruins in Greece was truly unforgettable. That sounds incredible. What made it so memorable for you? The sheer grandeur of the ruins and the sense of history that surrounded me left a lasting impression. Exploring historical sites can be awe-inspiring. I'm glad you had that experience. It deepened my appreciation for the rich cultural heritage of the region. I can imagine. It's amazing how travel can broaden our perspectives and create lasting memories. Indeed, it's something I'll cherish for a lifetime. Lesson 78, okay, then what's next? Okay, we've completed this task. What's next on our agenda? We need to review the marketing strategy for the new product launch. That's an important step. How should we approach the discussion? Let's gather the team and brainstorm ideas to create an effective plan. Excellent. I'll schedule the meeting and inform everyone about the agenda. Make sure to allocate sufficient time for a thorough and productive discussion. I'll do that. We want to ensure we make informed decisions and set achievable goals. Perfect. Let's get the team together and make progress on the marketing strategy. Lesson 79, keep walking straight. Excuse me, can you give me directions to the nearest post office? Certainly. Keep walking straight and you'll see the post office on your left-hand side. 
Thank you for the guidance. I appreciate your help. You're welcome. If you have any further questions, feel free to ask. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks again. No problem. I hope you have a pleasant visit to the post office. Lesson 80. Enjoy your shopping. I'm looking for a gift for my sister. Any recommendations? How about checking out the jewelry section? We have a variety of options. That sounds like a good idea. Can you show me where it is? Sure, it's on the second floor. Just take the escalator up, and you'll find it on your right. Thank you for your guidance. I'm excited to find something special for my sister. Enjoy your shopping, and I hope you find the perfect gift. I appreciate your well wishes. Have a great day. You too. Lesson 81, Considering Traveling by Train I've been thinking about my next trip, and I'll definitely consider traveling by train next time. Train travel can be a wonderful experience. It offers scenic views and a relaxed journey. That's exactly what I need. I want to enjoy the landscapes and avoid the stress of airports. Trains often provide more legroom and amenities, making the journey more comfortable. That sounds appealing. I'll also have the opportunity to interact with fellow travelers. Yes, train travel can be a great way to meet new people and hear interesting stories. I'm looking forward to it. I'll do some research on train routes and schedules. That's a good idea. It will help you plan your trip and make the most of your train travel experience. I'll definitely take that into account. Thanks for the suggestion. You're welcome. I hope you have a fantastic train journey on your next adventure. Lesson 82, Exploring Insurance Options We need to find the perfect insurance options. Any recommendations? Let's start by researching reputable insurance providers in our area. That's a good plan. We want to ensure we have reliable coverage. It's important to compare different insurance policies and consider their benefits and costs. Absolutely. We should look for coverage that aligns with our specific needs. Additionally, we can read reviews and seek recommendations from trusted sources. That's a wise approach. We want to choose an insurance provider with a good reputation. Once we have a short list, we can contact each provider to gather more information. That way, we'll be able to make an informed decision based on our findings. Perfect. Let's start our search and find the insurance options that suit us best. Lesson 83, Tips for Staying Motivated I've been struggling to stay motivated lately. Do you have any tips? Establishing clear goals can help maintain motivation and focus. That's great advice. Setting specific targets will give me something to work towards. Breaking down big tasks into smaller, manageable steps can also keep motivation high. I'll keep that in mind. It's easier to stay motivated when I see progress along the way. Additionally, finding inspiration from successful individuals or mentors can fuel motivation. That's true. Learning from others who have achieved what I aspire to can be motivating. Lastly, taking breaks and practicing self-care can prevent burnout and boost motivation. I hadn't considered that. It's important to recharge and maintain a healthy work-life balance. Indeed. Remember, staying motivated is a journey, and it's okay to seek support when needed. Lesson 84, Sushi as a Travel Highlight 
I'll have to try those. When I traveled to Japan, sushi was a highlight. Sushi in Japan is renowned for its freshness and exquisite flavors. Absolutely. It was an incredible culinary experience, unlike anything I had before. Each piece of sushi is meticulously prepared, showcasing the artistry and skill involved. I was amazed by the variety of sushi available, from traditional to innovative creations. Japan's attention to detail and dedication to quality make it a sushi lover's paradise. I couldn't agree more. It's an absolute must try when visiting Japan. If you ever have the chance to return, consider exploring different sushi restaurants for new experiences. I'll keep that in mind. I'm already looking forward to my next sushi adventure. I'm sure you'll have a fantastic time. Enjoy your future sushi explorations. Lesson 85 Checking for discounts or promotions. Discounts or promotions would be great. We should check their website before. That's a smart move. Many companies offer exclusive online deals and promotions. It's always worth checking for any available discounts to save some money. Sometimes they have limited time offers or special packages that can be quite beneficial. Exactly. I don't want to miss out on any opportunities to get a better deal. Additionally, signing up for their newsletter or following them on social media could provide access to exclusive offers. That's a good idea. It will keep us informed about any upcoming promotions. Remember to read the terms and conditions to understand the details of the discounts or promotions. I'll make sure to do that. Let's check their website and see what discounts they have available. Agreed. It's always worth exploring all available options to make the most of our budget. Lesson 86. Communication is key. Communication is key. Have you talked about it? Not yet. I think it's an important topic that we should address. I agree. Effective communication can prevent misunderstandings and improve relationships. Absolutely. It allows us to express our thoughts and feelings clearly. It's also important to actively listen and understand the perspectives of others. Active listening promotes empathy and helps build stronger connections. I believe open and honest communication can resolve conflicts and foster trust. That's true. It creates a supportive environment where everyone feels heard and valued. Let's make an effort to communicate better and encourage open dialogue. I'm on board with that. Let's strive for effective communication in all aspects of our lives. Lesson 87, Refreshing and Easy to Make I hope there's no line. I'm tired from the long flight. I understand. Let's find a place for a refreshing and easy to make meal. That sounds like a good idea. I'm craving something light and flavorful. How about a salad with fresh greens, juicy tomatoes, and tangy dressing? That sounds perfect. It's refreshing and won't weigh us down. We can also add some grilled chicken or shrimp for protein. Great suggestion. It will make the salad more filling and satisfying. Let's finalize the menu and make a shopping list. Agreed. I'll grab my notebook, and we can start planning. Excellent. I can't wait to enjoy a delicious and refreshing meal together. Lesson 88, Good Idea Good idea. I hope there's no line. I'll check online to see if there are any wait times at the moment. That would be helpful. I don't want to spend too much time waiting. 
It seems there's no line at the moment. We should be able to get in quickly. That's a relief. I'm excited to explore the place without wasting time. It's always great when things go smoothly and efficiently. Absolutely. Let's seize the opportunity and make the most of our time. I'm looking forward to it. I'm sure we'll have a fantastic experience. Me too. Let's make the most of this opportunity. Lesson 89. Pack a universal power adapter for your gadgets. I've made a checklist for packing. What else should I include? Lastly, always pack a universal power adapter for your gadgets. That's a good reminder. I wouldn't want to be without power during my trip. A universal adapter ensures you can charge your devices in different countries. I'll make sure to get one. It's essential for staying connected and powered up. Also, remember to check the voltage compatibility of your devices. Right, some countries have different voltage standards, and I don't want to damage my electronics. Smart thinking. It's better to be prepared and avoid any electrical mishaps. I appreciate your advice. I'll add the universal power adapter to my packing list. Great. It's a small item that can make a big difference during your travels. Lesson 90. Can I have an accessible room? Hi, I have a request. Can I have an accessible room? Of course. Let me check the availability for accessible rooms. Thank you. I need a room with wheelchair accessibility and grab bars in the bathroom. I've found a few options for accessible rooms. Which one would you prefer? Is there one on a lower floor that is easily accessible by an elevator? Yes, I've found one on the first floor that meets your requirements. That sounds perfect. Please book that room for me. Consider it done. I'll make sure your reservation includes the accessible room. I appreciate your assistance. It's important for me to have a comfortable and accessible accommodation. It's my pleasure to help. I hope you have a pleasant stay. Lesson 91 Perfect Real Life Examples I believe that using perfect real-life examples will add credibility to our claims. Absolutely. People can connect better with concrete examples from their own experiences. For instance, when discussing the importance of time management, we can share a story about how it helped us meet a deadline. That's a great idea. Sharing personal anecdotes makes the topic relatable and memorable. And when discussing the benefits of exercise, we can talk about how it improved our own physical and mental well-being. Excellent example. It shows that we practice what we preach and have experienced the positive effects firsthand. By incorporating real-life examples, we can make our arguments more persuasive and engaging. I agree. It adds depth and authenticity to our discussions, making them more impactful. Lesson 92, Styling Open Shelving I've been thinking about styling my open shelving. Do you have any tips? Certainly. Consider organizing items by color or size to create a visually appealing arrangement. That's a good suggestion. It can make the shelves look more cohesive and aesthetically pleasing. Another idea is to mix decorative objects with functional items, such as books or baskets. I like that idea. It adds visual interest while still keeping the shelves practical. Don't forget to leave some negative space to avoid a cluttered look. Good point. Negative space can create balance and allow each item to stand out. Lastly, consider adding some greenery or plants to bring life and freshness to the shelves. 
I'll definitely incorporate that. Plants can add a touch of nature and make the space more inviting. I'm sure your open shelving will look fantastic with these styling tips. Lesson 93, Removing Items from Bags Yes, they are, but they have to be taken out of our bags. Absolutely. It's essential to remove items from bags during security checks. It helps the security personnel see the contents clearly and ensures safety for everyone. Plus, it facilitates the screening process and allows it to proceed smoothly. It's a small inconvenience that contributes to a safer and more efficient travel experience. Let's remember to remove any liquids, laptops, and other electronic devices as required. Agreed. Following the guidelines and cooperating with security measures are important for everyone's well-being. Absolutely. By doing our part, we contribute to a safer and more secure environment. Lesson 94, Beautiful Beaches Have you been to any destinations with nice beaches? That's a good suggestion. Yes, there are several places with beautiful beaches that I've been fortunate to visit. I'm interested in planning a beach vacation, and I'd love to hear your recommendations. One place that comes to mind is the Maldives. It's known for its pristine beaches and crystal clear waters. That sounds incredible. I'll definitely consider it. Any other beach destinations you would recommend? Another fantastic option is the Seychelles. It boasts stunning beaches surrounded by lush tropical landscapes. Wow, that sounds like a dream. I'll add the Seychelles to my list as well. You won't be disappointed. Both destinations offer unforgettable beach experiences. Lesson 95, Being Aware of Surroundings Generally, it's safe, but it's always a good idea to be aware of your surroundings. Absolutely. Being mindful of our environment can help us avoid potential risks. For example, when walking alone at night, it's important to stay in well-lit areas and be alert. That's a smart precaution. It reduces the chances of becoming a target for crime. Additionally, when traveling to unfamiliar places, it's advisable to research local customs and potential safety concerns. Good point. Understanding cultural norms and potential risks can help us navigate new environments more safely. By being aware and prepared, we can minimize potential dangers and enjoy our experiences with peace of mind. Absolutely. Personal safety should always be a priority, no matter where we are. Lesson 96, Planning a Trip I've been researching some travel sites, and it sounds like a fantastic plan to go on a vacation soon. Have you checked if we need visas for the destinations we're considering? Yes, I have. It's important to be aware of the visa requirements before making any travel arrangements. That's a good point. It ensures we have the necessary documentation for a smooth journey. Absolutely. We don't want any unexpected visa issues to disrupt our plans. I agree. It's always better to be prepared and avoid any last-minute complications. Once we have the visa situation sorted out, we can move forward with booking flights and accommodations. That sounds like a logical next step. It's exciting to plan a trip and have something to look forward to. Indeed it is. I can't wait to explore new places and immerse ourselves in different cultures. It's wonderful to have the opportunity to broaden our horizons through travel. I couldn't agree more. Exploring new destinations is always an enriching experience. Lesson 97, Discussing Unique Perspectives Yes, I heard the same. It would be interesting to see their unique perspectives on the matter. Absolutely. 
Hearing different viewpoints can broaden our understanding of a subject. It allows us to consider alternative ideas and challenge our own beliefs. Indeed. Engaging in conversations with people who have diverse perspectives fosters intellectual growth. It encourages critical thinking and helps us develop a more well rounded perspective. I completely agree. It's important to approach discussions with an open mind and a willingness to listen. By actively seeking out different perspectives, we can gain a deeper appreciation for the complexity of the world. Absolutely. It's through these conversations that we can learn and grow as individuals. I'm grateful for the opportunity to engage in such meaningful discussions. Lesson 98 Grocery Shopping Do we need to buy milk, eggs, bread, and some fruit? Yes, we should make a grocery list to ensure we don't forget anything. That's a good idea. Having a list helps us stay organized and focused. It also prevents us from making unnecessary purchases. Agreed. It's important to stick to our planned shopping items and avoid impulse buying. By following a list, we can make our shopping trips more efficient and save money. Plus, it ensures that we have all the essential items we need for our meals. That's true. Planning our grocery shopping helps us maintain a well-stocked kitchen. I find that creating a list based on a monthly budget helps me track my expenses as well. That's a smart approach. It allows you to stay within your financial goals and avoid overspending. Exactly. By being mindful of our grocery shopping habits, we can make more informed choices. Lesson 99, Exploring Famous Landmarks The city has a charming atmosphere. Did you visit any famous landmarks during your trip? Yes, I had the opportunity to explore some of the iconic landmarks the city is known for. That must have been fascinating. What were some of the highlights for you? One of the highlights was visiting the historic cathedral in the city center. I can imagine. Cathedrals often showcase stunning architecture and rich cultural history. Absolutely. It was awe-inspiring to see the intricate details and craftsmanship up close. Were there any other landmarks that caught your attention? Yes, I also visited a famous museum that housed an impressive collection of artworks. That sounds like a memorable experience. Museums offer a glimpse into the world of art and culture. They certainly do. It was a wonderful opportunity to appreciate renowned masterpieces. I'm glad you had the chance to explore the city's famous landmarks. It adds depth to your travel experience. Lesson 100, Budgeting and Sticking to It I create a monthly budget to track my expenses. That's a good idea. Budgeting helps us manage our finances more effectively. It allows us to see where our money is going and identify areas where we can save. Absolutely. It's important to have a clear overview of our income and expenses. Once I set a budget, I try my best to stick to it. That's a commendable approach. Self-discipline is key when it comes to budgeting. It can be challenging at times, but it's worth the effort to achieve financial stability. I agree. Sticking to a budget helps us prioritize our spending and avoid unnecessary debt. It also gives us a sense of control over our finances and allows us to work towards our financial goals. That's a great mindset to have. By being mindful lesson 100, budgeting and sticking to it. I create a monthly budget to track my expenses. That's a good idea. Budgeting helps us manage our finances more effectively. It allows us to see where our money is going and identify areas where we can save. 
Absolutely. It's important to have a clear overview of our income and expenses. Once I set a budget, I try my best to stick to it. That's a commendable approach. Self discipline is key when it comes to budgeting. It can be challenging at times, but it's worth the effort to achieve financial stability. I agree. Sticking to a budget helps us prioritize our spending and avoid unnecessary debt. It also gives us a sense of control over our finances and allows us to work towards our financial goals. That's a great mindset to have. By being mindful of our expenses, we can make more informed financial decisions. Absolutely. Budgeting empowers us to make choices that align with our long term financial well being. It's a valuable skill to develop and can significantly impact our financial success. I encourage everyone to give budgeting a try and experience the positive effects it can have on their lives. Wise words, John. Budgeting is a powerful tool that can lead to financial freedom and peace of mind.